Hi, I'm uh, Martin van Oostrom. I'm uh, working as a company secretary to the to the Aids Fund Sowage Netherlands in Amsterdam. Uh, I'm also your uh, treasurer for this congress and treasurer of the ICD Conference Support Foundation. Um, I welcome you in Amsterdam. We are now in the middle of the former 16th century uh, harbour area, this is the port of Amsterdam. Behind me you see the house of the Vorsluis family. For generations this family provided uh, general practice to seamen. In 1990, Mr. and Mrs. Forsluis were honored with three facing breaks. The left one refers to the first part of the family name Four and says prevention. The right one refers to the last part of the family name and says Sluis, which is a locker in the water and refers to cure. The middle one is an anagram and refers to the communities they see. It says I see sick sea men. Seamen and militaries were associated with varying sex practices and as a result of unprotected sex with STIs. That's the connection with this area. We gave a greater role for communities in this STI HIV World Congress. It is important to have them involved in the fight against STIs and HIV. I am Adebo Ale, Tina or Tina Adebo Ale, like the art world knows me. My background is in painting. This is my studio. I am not limited to only paintings. I also am a multimedia artist, depending on the story I want to tell. I also make works in several other mediums. So in the eastern part of my country, like in Nigeria, within the Igbo tribe, we have what we call the female husband. Um, sexual practices was very fluid and so it wasn't boxed up or defined as maybe a lesbian or anything. Women were allowed, so long as they can economically take care of the household, they were allowed to marry wives for themselves. We've always had this kind of very traditional, uh, vernacular sexual practices and then um, it's been disrupted, been erased by colonialism, I would say. Um, so within my practice, I like to look at these. First of all, link sexuality to very local spaces where I come from. I'm standing in the exhibition space of the Sibika Zaud Ost. When I was in my younger days of practice, I was focusing on stories around women because I grew up around lots of women and I wanted to put the stories into my practice. But within the last eight years, I felt the need that queer stories were not amplified as a Nigerian. So I think um, secrecy sort of creates so much uh, darkness around safety and education. We are still in the Belma, another part of Amsterdam known as Kryness. And I like that everyone can have their space to live, no matter your religion, no matter your background. My name is uh, Henry de Vries uh, and I'm a dermatologist and I work here in the beautiful city of Amsterdam. I have two jobs. Uh, one is uh, at the Amsterdam University Medical Center. I work there at the Department of Dermatology. And my other job is uh, at the Sexual Health Center of the Public Health Service of Amsterdam. Uh, and there I'm mainly involved with STI and especially STI related research. Uh, we're here in the heart of Amsterdam. Uh, this, is the, this is where the old uh, academic hospital was uh, located. It's uh, in the back over there. And also the Department of Dermatology. And um, uh, this is also the start of the red light district. If you go that way, uh, you will end up uh, in the red light district. And after that, there's the old harbor where sailors used to arrive. Uh, and it was a short walk towards the red light district. This 
pretty old uh, building built in the 19th century. You see in the epitaph on top, you see 1875, the year it was built. This used to be the first STI outpatient clinic here in Amsterdam. There was a, uh, the, one of the first dermatologists, that was uh, Mr. Sean Fleury from IJsselstein. He had his first STI clinic located here. And what's very special about this building, it's, it is, it's completely symmetrical. And that's also well how it was used. You had two entrances, you see one over here, where 235 is, uh, is stated. And on the other side, you have an exact same copy. Uh, and one door was used for female patients and the other door was for male patients. So there was a complete separation within the building, also about, uh, as far as treatment, and uh, the men and the women couldn't see one another. In Amsterdam, everyone knew if you were spotted here, you had an STI. Uh, and of course, STI is uh, from, it's from all ages. It was a stigmatizing disease. So if someone was walking under the clock, you knew he came here for treatment for STI. My expectations for the STI and HIV World Conference this year, we, we had completely different expectations. Uh, when we got the bid four years back, uh, in Rio, uh, where the conference was that then at that moment. We had plans to show all the delegates uh, our favorite spots uh, here in, in Amsterdam, because Amsterdam has so much uh, to offer. 